So for all you above ground pool guys out there that have trouble keeping the uh, things at a comfortable temperature for everybody, I've seen the other videos uh, that show they use the uh, propane tankless and uh, I just know that me or my wife would never, we'd always fight on who had to go fill the propane tank up. So I uh, went for the electric and instead of bringing the uh, tank or the uh, tankless heater out to the pool, I uh, kept it at the power plant. But what I did was I took the drain valve out of the pool ran it to a small pump, Harbor Freight, and uh, trying to stick with the uh, two and a half gallons per minute, but um, this one goes a little more. You could get a bigger pump, I believe, after running this system for about a week now, you could get a bigger pump. So I might get a bigger pump. But I had PEX here, because I ran one of those solar water heaters. Solar heaters, I put it up on the shed here up on top you can't really see it from here but I ran the ran it and it just didn't give us enough water out and uh, on a cooler day you didn't get anything so I just kept the pecs there cheated left the pecs ran it that's the dump valve for the new heater connected it with the garden hose right here ran it and then connected uh, cheap PVC right here where where it used to connect up on the roof to the uh, other heater. But I just got connectors and connected it, saved myself a few feet. And uh, we'll go and power up that little pump right here. You can see what it does. Seems to work pretty good. Right now I've just got it temporarily wired in with a uh, extension cord. But let's just plug it in, see what she does. Okay. All right, so it comes out of the pool, has a lot of help with the gravity feed into that pump. I have for temporary a couple little garden hose strainers at each end. And this guy does get clogged after about an hour. You gotta clean them. But I've ordered a, a bigger strainer kit that uh, should handle hours and hours of pool before I gotta clean it. But you can see that's the water that comes out. And right now, I measured that. That's about uh, two and a half gallons a minute. And let's go look at the setup. But you can see that I ran the PVC pipe half inch. It's cheap, guys, it was easy. I just ran along the fence line. It took me maybe 90 minutes to run it all. Not a perfect job, but hey, for a prototype and just testing, it worked. So I run it all the way back here. And the only real manual labor I had to do was dig, dig the trench underneath here to the house where I put the tankless water heater. And it was a real short run, bringing the uh, 240 from the power panel you can see the power panels right there. Real, real easy run. Don't have to be a great guy with uh, conduit bending. Ran in here, boom. Built a little box just to cover it because it snows here in Denver. And it's off right now. And you leave it off for a minute or so to get the water out and then bingo. You can go up to 140. And we'll just keep it at 130 right now you can hear it uh, so now we're back at the pool it's spitting out and uh, I know you guys are saying oh you lose a lot of heat I didn't lose that much heat and that's with the white PVC you lose about eight eight degrees on that 125 foot run but right now that water is piping hot and uh, there's the pool temperature 80.1 and let's uh, just for kicks put this on. You can see it roll. And I think I left that uh, heater going at 
130. And uh, if I keep it here long enough, this will go up to about 120. You'll see about a 10 degree loss. And that's with white. If I paint it black or dark brown, and, you know, to kind of camouflage it a little bit, it'll probably be even hotter. But you can see it's it's climbing. It's over 120 now. Is it 120? Yeah, it'll keep going, guys. You, you get the point. And it's putting in about almost 200 gallons an hour on a uh, 27 or 2800 gallon pool. And uh, that's hot. And that's, that's hot. And it will stay hot. It's not going to just... Uh, you know, fade away with your solar arrays. Uh, I noticed that, uh, yeah, they start off at 110 or 20, and after a few minutes, they uh, cool off to, you know, whatever the thermometer outside says. So uh, that's the way to do it. It cost me 225 for that tankless, you know, 10, 15 bucks for the uh, fuse. You know, I ran some 6.2, not a long run. I think the whole investment was under 500. I know, 500 bucks, but this is a real heater and I can keep this pool heated whenever I want, at nighttime, rain, whatever. So, that's how I did it. And yeah, that's a little Harbor Freight pump. He's not the greatest. It may end up getting a better one, but hey, for now, for a test kit, he's working fine.